This is the four steps visible lock. This puzzle will blow your mind. It's got so many different things to it. It's a level nine and it's from Robrecht. So it's, uh, it's super sweet. Um, it's so cool. I really want to show you guys the solution. So let's start. I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through it and uh, kind of show you some of the problems that you come, come across. So let's, uh, let's play with it here. So now you got to get this one Euro coin out of the, the box. And so there is this uh, acrylic, clear acrylic that moves inside there. So the coin's set into that. And you gotta get the coin to this, this acrylic hole here. So that one is kind of up top, and this is the piece that moves there, the coin sitting in. Now, there's this, this little ball bearing there. It's this L shape in the acrylic, and it can move up and down that L shape or inside the wooden maze underneath. Same thing with this one here. There's a, a L shape cut into the acrylic. That ball can move inside that L shape or inside the little maze cut underneath. And then there's these two balls here that are just sitting inside the acrylic and wood and they have no like path in the acrylic like that. So now the first thing you come across is like you're trying to make the first move, right? And you're like, like, I can't do anything. You can't literally can't move anything other than that. And then you realize that right up top here, there's a little pin coming out of the wood into the acrylic and same thing over here, there's another pin. And so they're both uh, opposite directions there. And so you try to move one and the other one falls, pull, falls in. Same thing on the other side, you move the other one and it falls in. So you're like, what do you do? Well, you take it over to the table and you do a spin and that allows you to move outside of the, where the pins are. So you can see the little hole there on the side where the pin sat in, same thing on that side. So that, then, then you're moving into this ball here. So there's this ball right there in that L shape. I'm gonna move the ball up. I'm gonna move the, the piece over. And then I've got that ball into the top, top part there. And that's where I want it. So next, these balls are stopping my acrylic from moving over. So what you gotta do is you gotta get one ball. Oh, let's try to show this. Get one ball in. Right. No, why is that? Hold on. Oh, maybe I'm doing the wrong one. Because, oh, my pins fell back in. That's the problem. So let's pull those out again. There we go. Okay. So now that the pins are back out. So I've got that little ball up top there. I've got the two here. So I'm going to try to get that one in up there. And then I'm going to hold it in and try to move this other one. See if I can get it here. Oh, hold on, that one, there we go. There we go. So now I've got those two balls separated into their pockets. And I've got to move now this ball down into the bottom of that L shape. So you move it there and there. And so now it's in the bottom of the L. And I got to keep that other ball up in the top of its L. And then you move it over and, oh, Shoot. Okay, now now you can't get it out and you're like, what the heck? I have everything in place. What's even stopping it? You can't like there's nothing stopping it. Until you realize hidden underneath the coin there is a pin. A gravity pin that you move it like this, jiggle it a bit, and the coin comes out. <laughs> so there's a, and you can see it right there, there's a little pin. That's that white dot and it runs inside that track up top there. And so when the coin's in, it actually hides, hides the pin. So then you just move everything back and moving it back is actually fairly easy. I think on this one, you just kind of move everything back into place. You get those, that ball into the top L and then you want, oh, oops, let's just get that one to the top L and that one into the bottom of its L, those two, and then move the, two pins back in place. So that's the uh, four step visible lock from Robrecht. Super cool puzzle, like I said, it has a little bit of everything in it. Pins moving around, spins, balls, coins. What more could you want in a puzzle than the four step visible lock?